Excuse me. Waiting for a watcher. A watcher or a minute and a half. Whichever one comes first. They're not forget her. That's right, they're not. Oh, I gotta get a pack of top loaders. I forgot. Okay, there's one, and it's after a minute and a half. All right, guys, tonight we've got ourselves the last box of <clears throat> Space Series 2 from Viceroy that blowout cards has. I don't know how much more of this there is even out there. I mean, I know obviously it was very limited being that it's from Viceroy. So, and uh, Eclipse to Evolve beat me out of the second box. Bought it before I could grab it. Alright, sponsor by blowout cards. Thank you to them. See what we got. All right, so here's the first one. What are you hoping to get in the box topper? Do we want an oversized top? Do we want an autograph? Do we want uh, one of the seed packets? I want to see the seed packet. I think that looks kind of cool seeing the image. Anyone? Nope. our set of cards now remember whatever order I open these in that's not the order they're going to be listed when I put them up there because you are drafting the entire pack so I'll just I'll number them on the inside of the flap with a sharpie no nah, it's not Star Wars tonight we're still filling that uh, that finest in galaxy break body. We're a little more than halfway full on it, and unfortunately, the uh, Star Wars Authentics break looks like it's going to kind of fall through for now. All right, so our box topper is a piece of a meteorite. Okay, so it was uh, oh, duh, it says sketch back right on it. I think everybody that's in this break was also in the big break we did earlier, so I'm not sure if they're gonna if anybody really cares. Uh, that's Mercury, and then you got your mini and whatever the little disc is. So are there any uh, sketches in particular anybody's looking for or artists that they don't have? I forgot to crap. I forgot to pull up the checklist for um, the artist list, I mean. Now bear with me for one second. Um, it says rust on the back, so I mean I'm gonna have to just Make the assumption that it's Rusty Gilligan. Hey, what's up, Ryan?
I should have my Outlander case for tomorrow night. I got my shipping notification. Which is good because Wednesday we're supposed to get slammed with some bad weather on the East Coast. So hopefully I'll get in before there's any kind of delay. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm showing us up here. I'm, sure if went so I'm pulling up that artist list. Just have to... Where's the back? I'm putting it down for a second. Yep, there it is. Okay. So I got my list here. So is there anybody else that even might be... Yeah, I'm going to go with Rusty Gill again just because it says Rust. I don't remember. But... Okay, and uh, we're going to put it right into a top loader. Oh, that's right, they don't fit in the top loader, they don't fit in the box. Taking it out. We'll put them in a the top loader when we pack them up. Neptune is your postcard. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take pictures of them. It's nice what we got here. Mayonnaise and bread. Which, uh, that was Jason... Where are you at? Jason Keith Phillips? Is he mayonnaise and bread? I like that background. So Ryan, are there any big sketches out there that you're aware of that haven't been pulled yet? Some of the artists that might have only done the five sketches kind of thing. Not sure how how uh, closely you've been able to follow the you know different breaks or that Saturn or you see the ones on uh, on eBay or whatever. Wow, this thing really textured. It's some some thick paint on it. Matter of fact, I can't get it out of the soft sleeve. Just have to work it a little bit. Hold on, because I think this is gonna. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it's like glossy. This card has been lacquered. It almost looks like uh, like a rock. And this one says Jason on the back. I 
That's pretty cool. That really stinks that it's the case topper. Jeez. Only one case topper. Did, uh, and no, no clue at all where it went. I mean, I know you, I know you know who you sent it to. Pluto is your postcard. a redemption for Achilles Kakakinakis uh, I know there's people that follow that if it shows up in well so was there insurance on that because I know uh, I, I read the threads about when people talk about when they lose something and then they file the insurance claim that if it is recovered, that, that it's technically the mail, um, uh, like the post office or UPS's property once they pay off the claim. Venus. Actually, I think more of a crazy thing will be um, what will happen if all of a sudden you see the case topper up on eBay. Not, you know, at least if it's at a at one of those auctions, you know, it was just lost mail like I found. You know, I saw one of these just recently. I wonder if it was the same person. All right, Chris Thorne, Apollo 11, first footprint on the moon. Um, somebody had posted up they had opened up like three boxes and five packs or five pa I forget what it was and they had a uh, a similar sketch I don't know if it was by the same person this feels thick I think it might have one of those uh, one of your discs yep Planetary. That I can't. There we go. Oh, Ryan, I had a suggestion for you. I forgot. When we were opening up, somewhere between opening up our cases. And posting in the break thread or in or in your thread, I mean the the product thread. Somebody mentioned about how the micro cards were not numbered. Saturn, and you had said something uh, regarding the fact that uh, just to add a different number on the backs of those micro cards, it would have really cost a lot of money, uh, additional cost in it. Um, maybe you could have numbered the front of the cards, like just in the corner somewhere. Is this a Don? Yep. Don Pettisini Jr. It's a Neil Armstrong. Yeah, so. Come on, focus. There we go. Or even just a small little, like you do a little fade out in the corner and put a small number there. Got another big disc here.
No, that's not going back in. Yeah, I mean, even if it's on the front, I don't think anybody's going to mind. Or you could even do a... Have like a, a little... Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. I was going to say make a like a planet that's a, like a light color and then put a, the number in a dark color inside of it. I see an N. I can't. Disc is stuck to it. Titan. You do a little astronaut helmet, maybe. <laughs> Put the number inside of that. So we got some sort of a meteor. Phoebe Saturn's moon. Michael Munshaw. How you making out with your next project, Ryan? Uh, Uranus. Kristen Allen. Pluto. Oh, this is cool. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's got gold, actual like reflective gold type paint on it. Uh, the Sounds of Earth. And this is by... Let's see, it's called The Golden Record. I think it's Ashley Villers. I believe is the artist. If she's in this. Yep. You know, I've never been a part of anything on Kickstarter, so that works out well, I guess, for people looking to help. You know, I guess it also gauges the interest in the product. Neptune. This has got a lot of texture to it too for the surface. And we have Laura 
Hmm, that's an ad. Oh, Laura Inglis, yeah. I'm sorry. Threw me off for a second. Now, sign it this way. I'm not sure if I'm holding it upside down or not. I would initially think it would go this way. But I don't know. Two more to go. <clears throat> now you had, uh, didn't you recently come back from um, uh, like a license expo or something? But I'm not sure exactly what it was called to check out the, you know, maybe obtaining licenses on some other on some products. Oh, okay. I thought, oh, wait a minute. I, I thought you went somewhere. Like, I know you were on vacation, Mars, when we broke the, the cases. But I, for some reason, I felt like you were going somewhere else. I, I really like the ones with the landscapes to them. Ward Silverman. No, it adds it adds a nice uh, dimension to the card. Last one. Jupiter. Okay, here we go. Who do we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? No idea. Marsha Parkins. Got ourselves a space shuttle. Very nice. All right, that does it. Uh, I will take pictures of the cards, the sketches, and the uh, the box topper. I'll get them up in the break thread, and we can get this thing going. Um, thank you for watching. Check back in tomorrow. I should be doing the case of Outlander from Cryptozoic, and then probably Thursday. We'll be doing the two cases of Walking Dead autograph collection. If you're interested in breaking anything, hit me up on Blowout Cards. You can post it in my thread, shoot me a PM, whatever works best for you. Um, you know, if there's any upcoming products or something that might be worth giving a shot, we're still filling. There's only a couple spots left in Twin Peaks, which I think is going to be the last one. Um, you know, that's going to be 10 cases and four archive boxes in total. So um, I think everybody pretty much has as much as they're going to get. And it's not, not really worth it to get a bunch of spots anymore, you know, to take a shot at pulling some big card. Um, so there's only, I think, 12 spots left out of 75. Uh, Star Wars, Mixed Galaxy, and Finest, case of each of those. We're like roughly halfway full on that one. Um, I'm going to be submitting... The 10th anniversary of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's going to be probably a two-case pack draft. Um, not sure how many times we'll snake it. I have to see the cost. Also, Stranger Things Season 2. I'll put in for that. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, second case of Orville is almost full. That doesn't come out for another, I think, month and a half. Uh, Rick and Morty Season 2. Who knows when that's going to come out. Unfortunately, over... You know, Cryptozoic, everything's kind of, I know it's been a while, but, you know, nobody can fill George's shoes, so, uh, 
you know, hopefully they'll be able to put a full cord press on that now that Outlander just came out. But that were three cases full and then two cases are more than halfway full. And that's going to be it. It's just five cases, no more. And I think that's about it. I'm not sure if there's anything else going on. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next break.